Marley 74, currently residing in the United States here in Maryland, and I'm here to testify of God's goodness in the life of Praise 74. Praise 74 was um, admitted in the hospital on October 31st. She contracted two viruses, adenovirus and parainfluenza, so they affect the lungs, and so she could not breathe properly. Her oxygen level kept going below 92 and going below 90s and she was on oxygen along the line her hemoglobin level became severely low and that was not seen on time however it contributed to breathing difficulty and she was rushed to the icu while in the icu she got worse we kept playing pastor jerry is a pastor we just want to thank god for using you while in the icu they had to place her on life support and when they placed her on life support that was november 5. they placed a dead card in front of her door at the icu where there were snacks for friends and families to come and see her and just there was no restraint access so it was open to anybody those who wanted to wish her farewell because they gave her 30 percent survival it was that bad my daughter did really and nurses came in and told me, Mom, take heart. You know, God turned all those condolences messages to congratulation messages. I want to thank Jesus. So she stayed on life support for three weeks. We kept praying. I kept playing old prayer messages from NSPD. Any messages showing, Oh Lord, show me mercy. Any word of knowledge on restoration, I keyed into everything. And I also begged God, although He had shown me victory, I begged Him for from a word of a word of knowledge, just one word of knowledge, to hold on to the verses and scriptures He had given to me. Lo and behold, while following, Pastor mentioned the praise case, and whoever He was speaking to in the ICU. <laughs> My daughter was there right there that, at that same time, and I keyed into that word of knowledge. I ran with it, and by faith, three days later was her two-year-old birthday, and we celebrated her birthday by faith with all the nurses. Praise woke up, and her mailing was so miraculous because it's difficult to recover from long-term life support. They had to give us, um, open our minds to options of reintubation and tracking. She had acquired pneumonia while on the ventilator and so with the pneumonia car and friends uh, and adenovirus that was a lot and she had to also be, to, to recover from opioid withdrawal syndrome because they kept giving her all these strong pain medications uh, fentanyl and morphine so she had to recover from all those um, delirium and everything that was going on but god saved praise i don't know how he did it there's no explanation you cannot explain a miracle he just you know, to pray and to stand at our ground and this is seven months today praise is still still sustaining her breath that she breathes and her oxygen is in the 99 to 100 and i'm so happy because we did pray and it is true and what god cannot do does not exist thank you jesus did you just watch that testimony oh my god you know this is the kind of testimony that will boost your faith did you check i know in nigeria that you say ah maybe the pastor bribed maryland usa can they fake that kind of testimony with evidence my dear better join a prayer platform and help your life do that immediately nsppd oh yeah 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 rush rush rush